someone said, you a hundred thousand dollars a month? That's nothing to me. Oh no. Why? God is more valuable than a dollar. That's right. All right, human family. Mm. You that are watching and listening and you that are here. Amen. Do God respect your church? That's it. That's do it. God respect your belief? Mm -hmm. Do God respect your faith? That's right. Do God respect your teaching? That's it. Do God respect your preaching? Amen. Do God respect your money giving? Yeah. Do someone say, well, wait a minute, Pastor Jennings, you can't give money wrong. You can't. Mm. The Bible says, he that gather riches, not by right, not by right. dies a fool. Dies a fool. Hey, Amen. When money is given, it's given to the glory of God to build up the work of God. That's right. The church ain't got no business buying a house for a preacher. No. Let him go get a job and work, you old lazy hypocrite. Amen. Huh? Amen. Hey, Amen. If the members got to work to buy their house, let the preacher work and buy his house. That's right. Am I right, I said? That's right. Amen. That's right. Don't buy the preacher his house. Don't buy him no car. Mm. Don't buy him no suit. Even Pastor Paul had a natural, had a natural occupation. occupation. Someone said he did. The Bible said he was a tent maker. That's right. The other apostles, they natural occupation. They were fishermen. Yeah. Matthew, natural occupation. Mm. He was a tax collector. That's right. That's right. What kind of natural job you got, Pastor Jenner? Me and my wife, we do real estate. Mm. We buy houses, flip them. Turn them over so folks can buy them. Mm. Now, even in my occupation, I can't violate God's word. That's right. Hey, man, if a man come to me and said, Mr. Jennings, I want to buy your home. I said, all right. I don't ask you, are you married? No, I don't. I don't <laughs> even want to have that conversation. Amen. Because the moment you say, I got a girlfriend and we're going to get married, I cannot sell you this house so y'all can shack up. That's right. Because if I do that, I'm strengthening the hands the of the evil door. The evil door. How can I preach against shacking up and then pro provide you a roof to commit fornication in? That's if right. I do that, I build up again the things I destroy right. and I make myself That's a right. transgressor. Right. If I'm baptized in the name Amen. of Jesus Christ Amen. and got the Holy Ghost and own rental property, Amen. I cannot let people live in my rental property that are not married and shacking up and I know it. For if I build again, that's right. If I do, it makes me a hypocrite. Amen. To preach against fornication, wherein I'm supplying you means to fornicate with. That's right. Am I right? For if I build again. Do you hear the Bible talking? In Galatians chapter 2 and verse 18. Do you hear the Bible talking? For if I build again. Give chapter and verse. Galatians chapter 2 and verse 18. Give chapter and verse. Galatians chapter 2 and verse 18. Your entire lifestyle mm. is centered around offering giving. That's right. Why? You're the offering. That's right. I, right. I don't care if you make $5,000 every 15 minutes Amen. from that tenant of that property. Amen. Let me give you a testimony. God bless uh, First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ with a 2,000 square foot campus. Mm -hmm. We've been there two years now. And we're holding services in the gymnasium while we remodel the main temple. Yeah. Well, we have two gymnasiums. And one of the schools that we're using service for, there have been many groups, educational groups in Philadelphia, mm -hmm. who express interest in one of the least, our school. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, one reached out to us and offered the church a seven-year contract mm -hmm. for over $100,000 a month. Amen. Now, in seven years, the church would have accumulated over seven million dollars. That's right. That's right. I had a letter drafted up in, in advance because I, I, I refused to budge from that Bible <laughs> for anything or for anyone. Amen. So I had a letter drafted up to whom it may concern. First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ, our belief and our standard is 
Holiness. Mm -hmm. Holiness is we believe in the regulations of God, the standard of God, the laws of God, the precepts of God given to his apostles and left on record and taught to us. Therefore, anyone expressed interest in this property must uh, follow the following. A, you cannot have no Christmas celebrations on this campus. B, you cannot have no Christmas decorations on this campus. C, you can't even condone Christmas or encourage to promote Christmas on this property. Uh, and I kept going, no Easter, no Easter egg parties, no Easter egg hunts, amen, no Halloween parties, no Easter baskets, nothing. Hallelujah. No, you can't have no rainbow flag. Why? God made woman for the man. That's right. He ain't made no man for no man. That's right. And I'm pretty sure you got homosexual bohemians here. <laughs> Amen. Am I right, I said? Amen. Amen. Someone said, you, $100,000 a month? That's nothing to me. Oh, no. Why? God is more valuable than a dollar. That's right. So, uh... The group that was willing to give us that, I told my secretary, give them the letter. Mm. When they read the letter, they said, well, we, 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 we're offering you $100,000 a month. I mean, isn't that something? That's I said, yes, it's something. <laughs> it's something, but it ain't this word. That's right. They said, well, Pastor Jennings, then uh, we respect your belief, but we're going to have to decline. So the Catholic diocese called me. When they heard that we turned down over seven million dollars because of what we refused to remove, move from, from the scriptures. Yes. And the man said to me, Pastor Jennings, I heard you turned down over seven million dollars. You was offered a contract for a hundred thousand dollars a month. Hmm. And you mean to tell me you was willing to turn down that because of something you believe? Yeah. I said, yes. Oh, yes. He said, you know, I got new. I got newfound respect for you. He said, because I want that money. <laughs> and he said, if they offered that to me, I ain't turning down nothing. Yeah. I brought to him the scripture. He that gather riches, mm -hmm. not by right, dies a fool. He said, that's in the Bible. I quoted it to him. He sat right in the main auditorium where we were working there, where the scalpers were. He sat down in all that dust and Googled it. <laughs> when he read it, he said, hmm. He said, it's in there. He said, but I still want that money. Amen. Amen. Now, this is what has called churches to backslide. That's right. They love money yeah. more than you love God. That's right. Church, the center yeah. of church Amen. is God. That's right. Today, church have removed God out. And the cheap, hypocritical prosperity plan is in. That's right. God ain't never told you touch something and claim it. No. You going around touching other men's wives and claim it. That ain't your wife. Amen. You going to car dealers. I'm going to touch it. It's mine. And then somebody else drive off with it. That's right. In Numbers chapter 22 and at verse 17. Listen, and this is the mindset that all of us got to have. For I will promote thee unto very great honor. You know, Balak offered Balaam, the servant of the Lord, mm -hmm. honor. Honor. Mm -hmm. And I will do whatsoever thou sayest oh, unto I, me. I do whatever you tell me. Come therefore, I pray thee. Come on, I pray thee. Curse me, Curse this, me people. this people. And Balaam answered and said unto the servants of Balak. What? If Balak would give me his house. I wish every preacher in the world talked like that. A minute. Mm -hmm. If Balaam would give me his house. Do, do you hear this? If Balak if would give Balak, me his house. If Balak Amen. would give me his house. Full, full. of silver. Full, full of silver, full of silver and gold, of silver and gold, and gold. I cannot I go can, beyond. That's what's wrong with my mind. That's right. That's why my mind is so messed up by the Holy Ghost. That's right. If you fill the house up with silver or gold, I cannot I go cannot, beyond. I cannot, cannot go beyond. Go beyond the word of the Lord my God to do what? To do less. To do less or more. I'm not budging. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Yeah? That's right. I'm not budging. That's right. I'm not budging for wife, children, Hallelujah. teachers, brothers, church, Hallelujah. nobody. That's right. Because God is not going to change. Amen. Heaven and earth going to pass away. He said, but my words shall not pass. That's right. Cain got able. Mm -hmm. Cain 
murdered Abel but unto Cain, as a result of God rejecting his sacrifice, he murdered his brother. That's now, right. when God rejects Cain's sacrifice, Cain got angry. That's right. With the Lord mm -hmm. and got disrespectful. But unto Cain and to his offering, he had not respect. Uh -huh. And Cain was very wroth. He was very angry. And his countenance fell. Uh -huh. And the Lord said unto Cain, what? Why art thou wroth? Why, is, why are you so upset? And why is thy countenance fallen? Look, I want everybody to pay attention mm -hmm. to what the Lord said to Cain because it applies to the whole world. If thou doest well. If you would have done it right. Shalt thou not be accepted? Amen. If you do it right, won't God accept you? That's right. I said do it right, not do it the way you feel. That's right. Do it right. That's it. How do you know you're doing it right? Hallelujah. It's when I do it according to God's word. That's right. I was talking to a minister this morning. Never met him. He saw me on YouTube from uh, Freeport. And... Uh, he go to some so-called apostolic church. Amen. And he said, when I watch you, he said, I, I start asking questions to my bishop. I believe he's the assistant pastor. <laughs> he said, I start questioning him about women preachers and women missionaries taking sermons mm -hmm. and deaconess and divorce and remarried. And why do we call ourselves apostolic when the Bible says, be holy? Be holy. He said, man, I started listening to you and I started reading the Bible. He said, my bishop gave every excuse under the sun. Amen. He said, but I don't want you to say it, Pastor Jennings. Bishop, I mean no disrespect. Where is it in the Bible? Mm. The bishop told him, hey, don't worry about it. Don't have to be in there. My Lord, my Lord. This is the way these preachers are now. That's right. And hey, hey, listen, everything got to be according to the Bible. The name on our building That's can't right. contradict the Bible. That's right. Why? Jesus said, upon this rock, I'll build my church. My church. So whenever the name go up on the building, the name of the Lord Jesus is supposed to be there on, to let the world know this is his. That's right. Huh? That's right. I can't say I'm the founder. I didn't find nothing. No. I was put in the church. Amen. The church was here before I was born. That's right. Jesus said, upon this Amen. rock. I will build my church. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. I mean, that's something me and my brother Bishop Ferguson talked about. He said, and he said we're working on it. Mm. We, we're working on changing it. It, yeah. it got to change. Got to change. Why? Yeah. Because the name that's there is not scriptural. That's right. Why? We're not apostolic. Yeah. None of us are. Oh, no. Let me see what God of people is. That's and true. to the Bible said, a highway shall be there. Mm. And a way no shall be called the way mm. of holiness. Oh, I yes. want everyone in the world to get this. That's because right. I'm telling the world, leave every apostolic church in the world. That's right. Leave it. Why? Because it's not Bible. That's right. And we cannot profess to be of God and contradict the Bible. First in Isaiah chapter 62. My God, I got to preach this. That's right. I can't help myself. Hallelujah. 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 can't help myself. The woe is in me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Pastor Paul said, woe Hallelujah. is me. Hallelujah. Thank God. God, why? You know why I can preach it so loud? Go ahead, brother. Years ago, I used to be called apostolic. That's right. When I didn't know no better. That's right. But I didn't have no revelation of it. Mm -hmm. But one day, the master of creation spoke to me early one morning. Hallelujah. And I never forget. Mm -hmm. He spoke to me so loud. He said, go back Amen. to the original scripture. Amen. My God, I went from Old Testament to, to New. new. All I find, holiness. Holiness without no man shall see the Lord. A highway shall be there and the way that shall be called the way of holiness. My people shall be called the holy people. Holy All people. this other stuff came up later. That's right. That's right. The term apostolic started in Italy. Mm -hmm. The first organized religious group that had it were Catholics. Amen. Until they got what is called the apostolic creed. Yeah. We ain't apostolic. We yeah. holy. Isaiah chapter 62. So go apostolic today, believing women preachers. Mm -hmm. Divorce. I refuse to be identified with such a title. That's Divorce. Right. They don't believe in having a head covered. That's right. Now you can live together, not married. No. Oh, no. No. We got to come on back to Bible yeah. that whenever we profess a good profession, heaven can say, amen. That's right. 
That's right. You've got to get an amen from heaven. That's right. Someone said, where is that at in the Bible, Pastor Jenner? In the book of Revelation, mm -hmm. John said, thus saith the amen. The amen. God is called the amen. That's right. What you mean? He's the beginning and the ending of everything. Whenever I start something, Hallelujah. I got to get God's amen. amen. Meaning I get God's approval. That's if right. If I don't get Hallelujah. God's approval and everybody else approve it, it's no good. No good. The Bible says, thus saith the amen. These things. Did you hear this? In Revelation chapter 3 and verse 14. These things. These things saith the amen. Saith who? The amen. Who is that? The amen. Amen. The faithful and true witness. He is what? The faithful and true witness. You can't get a better Hallelujah. witness. Than Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You can't. Glory to God. Get a better witness. Hallelujah. Then the amen. These things said the amen. Say of the amen. The faithful. He's faithful. And true witness. I, I, oh, I love this stuff. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He's faithful. And true witness. And though he's a liar. The true witness. No, he's a liar. True witness. He's a liar. True witness. It's impossible for God to lie. That's right. Everything we do in word and deed must That's be right. done in the name of the Lord Jesus. That's right. You better go back to the book of Romans, son. Mm -hmm. Thank God I want to make sure we offer this thing up just like God have it. Amen. Just like God have it. Listen, give chapter and verse. Romans chapter 12 and we're at verse 1. Everybody all right? Hallelujah. Follow me. Get I, this. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that what? That she present your body. You got to present it willingly. That's right. Willingly. Present. Present your willingly. body. Willingly. You know, sometimes yeah. when you do what the Bible says, you're going to contradict government. Yeah. Mayor. Amen. Governor. Oh, yeah. Congressman. That's right. Why? Because God never came to agree with them. That's right. God wants man to agree with him. Amen. Huh?